Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. A lot of people are asking me, how come you use an oxygen absorber in vacuum sealed bags? And you can kind of see the outline of one right here in the corner of this bag where one sits. Why are you putting oxygen absorbers in a bag that doesn't have any oxygen in it? Isn't that a waste? Well, the simple fact of the matter is, there is air in this. I don't care how much you spend for a vacuum sealer. It is not going to extract all of the air. I don't care if you spend $200, $300, $500 on a home vacuum sealer. It will not extract all the air. I guarantee you there is a lot of air still in this package. How much was drawn out by the pump? I don't know. It might be 30%, it might be 50%, it might be 70 or 80%. I really don't know. In fact, I'm not even sure if it's possible here on the surface of the earth to create a true perfect vacuum. So there's still going to be air in this package and that's why this oxygen absorber is in there. If you were able to create a perfect vacuum, two things are going to happen. Either one, you're going to crush the food that's in there or more likely the pressure is going to find a weak spot somewhere in this bag and rip it and then you've lost your seal and you're never going to get a vacuum. So that's why there is an oxygen absorber in all my vacuum seal packages is because there is still air and oxygen inside this package. So this is the Backpack Hat coming at you with this trail tip. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and comment on my videos. Be safe out there and I'll see you out on the trail.